Hi, my name's Shawful and welcome to another one of my videos where I talk about the world of data. Okay, so in today's video, what I'm going to do is talk about two things that all analysts should do. And when, when I talk about these two things, what I need you to bear in mind is that these should be habitual, okay? These are the things that you have to think about to um, do when you're doing any piece of analysis or when, you do, when you're doing your job. These are two things that you should always do um, as a matter of fact, as a matter of habit, okay? Now, the first thing that you should always do is validate your numbers. And what I mean by that is that let's say you get a data extract okay, from the business okay, and the business says, um, can you uh, do, do something for us, a piece of analysis, whatever it may be. Okay? And the, one of the um, variables in that data extract is, for example, uh, total revenue sales, so total sales um, that, that, that the business makes, so revenue that the business makes. Okay? Um, and the, the, you know, they, they gave you 12 months of it. Okay, so now what you should do is always, as like I said, you should make it habitual, something that you should always do, uh, and I've always been doing this, is that you should just run some descriptive statistics on it. And one of the easiest things to run is run sum on it. So uh, the, the total sales for the year or total sales by month, okay? So what you want to do is you want to say, okay, uh, I've got a 12-month a, a, a file of total sales of the business. Uh, I'm going to uh, run uh, monthly sales numbers, okay? And check with the business that they match up. Now, you may be asking, well, why do that? If they've given me total sales, it should match up. But it may not, okay? Sometimes what you might find is that the total sales um, file that you got doesn't include refunds or it doesn't include um, uh, you know, other adjustments that the business makes, for example. Um, so what you might find is that you deliver a total value for a month or for the whole 12 months and it won't match what the business has. And it could be out by you know, 1%, 2%, but that's going to make a big difference, okay? Um, because the business will be used to some numbers and you have... Uh, provided a different set of numbers. So you should always make sure that your numbers match their numbers. Now, if their logic is, um, or you don't think their logic is correct, that doesn't matter. This is how the business operates. And uh, so as an analyst, what you need to do is make sure that you match how the business operates. Another example is that you could be a global company, for example. So you've got sales from around the world. And so you're getting values in your file from uh, you know, the US in dollars, from UK in pounds, yen in Japan, um, you know, you've got Singapore dollars, um, you've got Indonesian rupees, you've got, you're getting um, uh, sales numbers from, with, from different um, uh, countries, okay? And what you might decide is, actually, you know what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the average exchange rate for the year or for the month and I'm going to uh, convert them all into dollars because I need a, a unified value in, in order to do my analysis. Now, you should always check. Before you do that, just check how the business does it, okay? So some businesses, what they do is they fix an exchange rate at the beginning of the year and everybody or all the offices um, or in all the countries use that uh, foreign exchange rate uh, number or they might do a, a, a half year one, a quarterly one, a monthly one. Whatever they do, just check uh, what they do and you make sure you replicate it, okay? Now the reason I say this is because you may do an amazing piece of analysis, okay? You might do something that's really groundbreaking but you go to present and you're presenting first of all, you know, sort of an audit of the data. You're saying, I received 12 months of data and here are the, the, the total sales by month and someone in the room might go, hang on, I don't recognise those numbers. They look off, odd, uh, off by 1%, 2%, whatever it is and suddenly the discussion's gone into the accuracy of your numbers, okay? They're not going to focus on what analysis you did. They're going to be saying, well, maybe you, you, didn't have, you haven't got the right numbers and the discussion will go off in a direction that you don't want it to go, okay? So, my advice is, something that you should always do is that whenever you get a data extract or even if you're extracting existing data, always make sure that you validate the numbers, okay? Because even when you're extracting, you might find that uh, something happened in the query uh, on the database, a timeout or something and you didn't get the last thousand rows or you didn't get a day's worth of data from a whole year. You're never going to know that by eye, you know. Um, so always validate your data, okay. So run things like, like I said, descriptive statistics like sum, like the maximum, the minimum, even frequency. So you might want to run a frequency by day just to see the pattern to make sure that it's um, uh, familiar to the business, okay. So that's the first thing you should always do, okay. Something that a data analyst should always do is validate their number. Now the second tip that I would advise data analysts to do is um, you should always know when something is wrong instinctively, okay? Now, what I mean by this is that sometimes, you know, you, you know you're, you're so busy and you're running analysis or you, you're, you're looking at a report and you, you sort of dismiss the numbers, okay? Um, you just, you know, or you not dismiss them, you just overlook them and they're wrong or there's something wrong with them, okay? Um, and you need to know when, when, it's, when number looks wrong and when number looks right, okay? And you can't keep 
analyzing data to make sure you know when it's right or wrong, otherwise you spend all your time just analyzing to make sure the data is right. So my advice to you is something that you should always do is that if the business has reports that they produce on a regular basis, so management information reports or business intelligence reports, whether they produce on a daily basis, weekly, monthly, quarterly, whatever the frequency your business produces it, um, focus on the key business KPIs that the business focuses on. Okay, so, you know, if you're a Netflix, you might be interested in subscriptions, you might be interested in viewer time, okay, and then that may be run daily. You know, if you're an, an automotive, you might be interested in uh, registrations or, or sales by month or by week, whatever it is, okay, and you should make sure you receive those reports, okay. Now, you may, you may think, God, my, my inbox is busy as it is, why should I get more reports? It's very important that you know what the business numbers look like, okay, and you should know this every day. Okay, so as the numbers come in, or every week, whatever the frequency is, as the numbers come in, you're looking at those, okay? And over time, you will work out what normal looks like, okay? So let's say, you know, uh, your, your, your business is a website, and, and you look, one of your core business KPIs are visitors to the website. So every day, you look at the numbers, and you get 100,000 visitors, let's say, every day. And it goes up and down, you know, on a, some weekdays, you might get 100, uh, sorry, less than 180,000. On the weekend, it might be a surge because of the nature of your business, so you get 120, 130. But you get used to it. So over a few weeks, you realize that on average, we get about 100,000 visitors a day. It goes up to about 130, goes down to about 80. But that's, that's usually what I get. Now what will happen is, when you get a report, and the numbers come back as like 30,000 or 400,000, okay? Before your brain even registers that that number is wrong, you'll feel, you'll feel it. You'll actually get a gut instinct or a gut feeling to say something's wrong, okay? And you won't know, actually. And the interesting thing is you won't actually know what's wrong until you actually pay attention to the report. And then you realise, oh, hang on, yeah, that visitor number's really gone up to 400,000. Why is that? Let me go and investigate and find out, okay? Um, and that happens, like I said, you, you, you feel an instinct. It's a gut feel, okay? Because what happens is that over time, your brain or, or yeah, your brain's getting used to seeing a, a familiar number, okay? And then after a while, um, when you see an unfamiliar number, automatically warning bells get triggered off, okay? And you're feeling something's not right. Okay, and then your brain kicks in and goes, oh, oh so your attention kicks in uh, and you're going and you're looking into, oh, what, what's wrong? Oh, that, that visitor number looks really high. Uh, I need to go and investigate or I just did a piece of analysis and um, it includes that visitor number. I should go and look at my analysis to make sure uh, that nothing's wrong. Okay, um, and you know, you'll find that if you um, <clears throat> make this a habit of getting regular reports and keeping an eye on the business KPIs, you, it will be instinct. And if you're in a meeting and someone presents something automatically without having to ref ref refer back to any report, you will know if a number looks r right or wrong. And the same will also be true of your analysis. Before you even know whether you know, you, you've run a piece of analysis, whether it's right or wrong, uh, whether the numbers are right or wrong, you'll instinctively know. They'll look right. They'll feel right. Okay. Um, so yeah, so even though you know, we're, very, we're meant to be analytical people, um, the way the brain works, okay, I mean, if you want to learn about system one, system two, um, I, I, you know, I'll talk about it in another video, um, but the brain will, pro, you know, you will, um, brain will process this information that you um, are, are looking at every day and make it a feeling, because that's how we as humans uh, usually react to things. We have a gut feeling first, okay? Um, and that gut feeling is based on evidence that we're seeing through our sens sensory um, uh, organs, so our eyes, okay? Um, we're seeing these numbers every day, but they're turning into feelings now. And so when something doesn't look right in the numbers, your body will tell you. You'll have that gut feeling. Okay? So those are the two things. So first thing, validate your numbers. Whatever you do before you do any piece of analysis, make sure you validate the numbers. And number two, um, keep an eye on um, the, uh, the, the, the core business KPIs and know when something looks wrong. Okay? Well, thank you very much for watching my video. Uh, if you have any comments about this video, please do drop them down below. If you also have any questions, please drop them down below. Uh, please like the video and, of course, please do subscribe to my channel and look out for more videos. Thank you very much.